So who here would have liked to play with RC cars in high school? Because what you're about to see is a high school project that builds and races hydrogen powered RC cars to compete in the H2 Grand Prix. And this team is a three time world champion. Now they unexpectedly came up to A-Main to test on our big carpet track and we thought it was so interesting, we've recorded it for you. So big thanks to them for letting us film and I hope you enjoy it. And as a side note, they didn't want us filming their latest fuel cell design, so the car you're about to see has some dummy parts. Hi, my name is Marcos and I'm from Oakwood School in North Hollywood, California. And we are here at A-Main today testing our H2 GP car, which is the Horizon Grand Prix. We're getting ready for the World Finals, which is in six weeks, and we're doing fuel cell testing today just to see where we're at with our new fuel cell design. Right here, this is a somewhere between a 12 scale and a 10 scale car, pretty much 90% of the car is custom made. The rear tires are custom made. It's BSR foam with uh, 3D printed rims. Uh, the front are stock BSR rims. Front suspension is built in house. The rear motor mounts are built in house. This is just a stock 112 uh, lock diff from CRC. And it has most of the new metric parts that they have on their car. And the car itself is hybrid. It runs off of an 18650 lithium ion battery and a hydrogen fuel cell in parallel. This is the hydrogen stick and this is the fuel cell right here. So what's the point behind the battery and hydrogen? Yeah, so the way it works right now is that the fuel cell will output at a certain voltage depending on how it's designed and a certain amperage yeah. and think of it just like a battery it's just that each stick will last x amount of minutes depending on how much hydrogen you're using in the fuel cell and then that dictates how often we would have to switch sticks the same way you would actually switch a battery so a battery lasts x amount of minutes and a stick lasts x amount of minutes but they're working together to basically push the car as long as we can but if we run too fast then we eat through a stick and a battery but we have more sticks than batteries to use during a race and races are any Anywhere from two, four to six hours. A two hour race would be like a local qualifier here in California, somewhere in the range of like 80 teams you're competing against. And then if you do well there, you move on to the California state finals. And if you place in first, second or third, then you move on to the world finals, which could be anywhere from last year, it was in Anaheim at Disneyland. Year before that, it was in Las Vegas. This year it's in Chemnitz, Germany. So we're flying over there in four weeks to go compete for a week long racing. Uh, we have three different races that we're gonna be competing in during that week. Oh wow, three different classes? Yeah, so we have the hybrid class, which is this one. Yeah. We have a fuel cell only class, which is no battery, okay. just fuel cell. And then we also have an all girls team that'll be racing on the last day of the race. Oh, interesting. What's, what makes up the team? So the way it works for most schools is they'll have a team of about five people. Two will be drivers, and then the other three will be in charge of monitoring the car or pit stops or if the car breaks, whoever is driving cannot work on the car during a race because they're obviously up in the stands at the same time it's in the rules. So a team can be comprised of five people that are allowed in the pit area, but only one person can be up a driver, but you can be on headsets communicating with them. You also need to be monitoring your car. So the other team members usually are doing that during a race because it's a two hour race and you've got to make sure that your car can A, go two hours. And even if you can go two hours, you want to go as fast as you can. You don't want to end with any energy because yeah. there's no point in that because you could have used it to go faster. My name is Jade. I actually graduated a couple years ago, but I'm back helping just for the summer. Yeah, I was on Team Pink. I competed in Amsterdam in 2022 at the World Championships. So, so basically, this is all the data that's being, what, fed to your computer in real time, basically? Yeah, so we get all the data on this box over here, and then every lap we input basically the data in here, and it'll we have it so it's been programmed, so it'll give us how much energy both battery side and fuel cell side that we're using every lap and then we have that broken down we're talking to the drivers constantly telling them speed up slow down and then based on that we can you know control basically how much energy we're using and how many laps we're doing and how fast we're going um i'm franny and i'm a rising senior and i'm going to be competing in germany i'm on green team and i'll be competing in germany in august and i'm a co-pilot so i do essentially what jade was just talking about and so i'm on my laptop monitoring the car and i'm in conversation with the driver and uh, specifically i usually monitor the fuel cell so i'm looking at energy usage and amperage and yeah okay well my name is jack um, i'm also a rising senior and here on our our team um, the senior team is called the green team i'm a co-pilot and i also 
work on the car. Which means I monitor data, I monitor lap times on Live RC, I monitor profi boxes to see how much fuel we're, we're using from the, uh, the fuel cell and the battery. And then we put that into a spreadsheet along with the lap times to sort of figure out how efficient the car is, where the car's at, all that good stuff. So yeah. And then of course work on the car, just try to make it as efficient and fine-tuned as possible. And that's really what we're all about. My name's Kai Novak and I'm like the driver of the team. I also have like uh, my co-driver, co Jorge. Uh, he's not here right now, but he would be up there with me driving. Today we were just kind of kind of going around doing data tests on our fuel cells. Cool. Yeah. So the races are, are several hours, right? Yeah, yeah. It is a lot of driving, but like, as I said before with my co-driver, like we swap off, so it's not too, not too bad. It's maybe every like 30 minutes we'll swap off to an hour. Okay. The first race, which is uh, regionals, is going to be two hours, and then the, ra the states is four hours, and then the worlds, which we're going to very soon in, in the middle of August, is going to be uh, six hours. You're getting around that track really yeah, good. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Awesome. I, I wondered if maybe you had any prior RC nah, racing Nah, not really, no, nah, no, nah, Okay. Nah. Just like sim racing, you know? Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm Jordan. I am returning, I graduated a year ago, 2024. Coming back to help out and do some work now that I'm no longer a student. And I was a driver, I'm still kind of a driver-ish. I'm working on the cars and sort of helping with more of the R&D not so much of the testing side anymore. Okay. Yeah, it's been a good time. We're making some some solid improvements with our, our day here. Um, it was good to get on a big track and kind of see what the differences are to our home track and what we do there. Is it accurate to say you guys won the Worlds the last three years? Yes, it is. Okay. And we've actually... Well, we won, we won Worlds the last three years. The first year we came in third, the second year we came in second, and then the last two years we won Worlds. Yeah, we've never won, we never lost a qualifier and we've never lost state. Wow, it's kind of a big deal. It's a lot riding on this Worlds coming up. How confident are you feeling about it? We're pretty good right now. We still got a lot of work to do. The car's not ready yet, at least the new car yeah. that we're working on. This is version five, actually. Oh, from just this year of new cars? From this this summer. Oh, wow, okay. So this is version five, so right now we're gonna go home and start version six. Sweet, well hey, I appreciate your time, and good luck. Thank you.